Okay, so here I'm going to show how to disassemble an HP Pavilion model 15-AB243CL. Um, so this model is a little bit difficult to get apart um, because the clips are kind of strong. Um, but first what you're going to want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. Um, two of them will be hidden under some plastic covers here. Usually I just use like a needle or a small flathead um, uh, to get under the edge and then peel it up. Um, they're not needed, but keep put them aside and then just have them just to, so it kind of covers them again. Um, so there's one screw here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, this is for the optical drive, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's 16 screws on the bottom. Once you remove all those screws, you're gonna wanna remove the CD drive. Um, these you'll use a Phillips um, one or a, or a J1 screwdriver um, to remove those. And then once you get that, you can remove the CD drive just like that. There'll be two screws under here. For this, you'll need a Phillips Zero or, or a J0 um, screwdriver. So remove those two. Make sure to put a lot of downward force so you don't strip these because the screws are kind of like uh, thin. Um, so after you remove those, then you got to remove um, these black covers here. So to get those out, you can use a pry tool. Um, usually I'll get it between the edge of the silver and the black part here. And then you just pull it up like this. Like that, it'll unclip. Make sure when you put it back, you do the same thing. Put the, the back part here first and then just push it down until you hear it click in place. So put it down and then you can kind of like click it. Um, yeah, it's hard to do with one hand, but yeah, you get the idea. Make sure to put that back piece in and then there you go, like that. So the clip is like around this area. So that's the part you'll kind of have to put pressure on. Okay, so remove those two covers. There'll be another screw under here. And then same thing with this side. Lift that one up. And there'll be another screw right here. So this one you'll have to be a little careful because now that the screws aren't holding the hinge to the bottom, there's only like one, probably one screw holding it in. So just open it slowly. Um, and also, oh, I forgot to show. Well, you should know, but for the battery, in case you didn't know how to remove that, um, so this one would have to be in the unlock position like this. So make sure to unlock it and then you slide this one over and the battery will just pop up. So when the battery pops up, yeah, you just roll it out like that. Okay. So after that, um, just slowly open the lid. Don't open it too quickly cause you can damage the hinge area if you do. So do that. And then just like all the other ones, hold the power button for a few seconds just to drain any power, just to be safe. Okay. All right, once you got that, um, to remove this, what you wanna do is get a pry tool or your nails between the these two parts and just pull on it. You'll actually hear it pop apart. So just go all the way around doing that. Let's see here, just like that. Okay, on the CD slot, be a little careful because if you pull it too quickly you might crack that piece okay all right just go all the way around the sides so this edge will be a little difficult i actually have to use a, a pry tool for that so when you get to the back edge what you want to do um you can pull this gray piece out and then this one you'll actually have to pull downwards so this is a little tough so I'll actually use a pry tool to do it. So what you do is just get the tool between the two layers and pry it downwards like this. You'll hear it click. That means the clips are releasing. So just go along and do that all the way around. All right. Okay, once you got all of those clips released, um, close it again, slowly again. All right. And then to remove this, you want to push this forward this way. Um, to get it off the rest of the case just like that and then you can kind of wiggle it out so just like that so make sure when you put it back same thing you put the back side in first and then you can slide the whole thing forward this way okay so yeah just remove it like that there you go 
All right, now you can see the hard drive is pretty easy to get to. Um, there's not really anything holding it other than the rubber. So to remove it, you just get your finger under here and then just lift it up. Okay, and be careful because the cable is right here. So if you need to remove the cable, flip up this little tab here. Just like that. And then you can actually lift the whole hard drive up and carefully unslot the cable. Just like that. Okay. Now you can replace this with an SSD or another hard drive. This one, the hard drive went bad, so we're actually going to replace it with an SSD, upgrade it. Um, then you can see there's actually two RAM slots, but they only use one. Um, there's the optical drive. Um, if your CD drive's having issues, either your CD drive's bad or maybe this cable's damaged or something, the connector. Then you can see they have the LAN port, the Ethernet, and the... Um, um, two USBs and an SD card slot here. So if you need to replace that, um, and then you got the power button, I believe, is right here. So if your power button's bad, you can replace that. There's a connector. The charge port is under here. So to replace that, you'd actually have to take this screw out, I believe. Yeah, the hinge is on top of it. So you'd have to take this screw out and then flip this back and then just follow the cable it plugs in here um, to remove these like the other ones there's the little tabs that stick out you just kind of wiggle it with your nails like that until it comes out um, this is the lcd connector just like the other ones has a little flip up latch and then there's this other connector i believe this is for either the webcam or touchscreen and this one it just pops up so you actually get under get your nail under it or some small tool and you just pull the two things same thing as the power connector you just kind of wobble it up don't pull too hard and like straight because you can actually rip the the socket off the board if you put too much pressure that way okay then you can see the trackpad is here and there's like some adhesive to so if you were to remove it you'd have to take all of that out <clears throat> and you'd have to actually take the whole motherboard off as well um just like with all the other uh, newer computers the processor soldered to the board um this is where the gpu normally would go on other models but this one they're not using it you can see like this is where the uh gpu the video memory would go um but yeah one, you can upgrade you can add another ram or even put a, a newer RAM or larger RAM. Uh, there's the CMOS battery here, so if your computer's having some weird issue with the BIOS, you can actually reset it by taking the battery out and then shorting the these two pins. Um, then you got the wireless card here, you got the speaker connector here. Um, there's actually two speakers, so this cable, there's actually a cable that runs underneath the board to both speakers, and then the speaker connects here. And you got the fan. This fan looks like you can remove without taking the board out. You just take these screws off. Um, oh, there's three screws. And you'll have to flip the, the hinge back. And then you can remove that wireless card just like the rest. You just flip the back cable up and it'll pop off the connector. Don't pry from like the front or the sides because you can damage the connector on the wireless card. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.